Right, today I'd just like to show you a new four-piece CNC turning tool set that I got from Banggood to use on my MyFed ML7 and my Chinese mini lathe. It's a 10mm shank set and it's one that takes all the same inserts, the DCMT 070204. And this is a great set if you're new to engineering or you need some new tools. Um, several years ago I bought this 8mm one on eBay has the same insert and it cost me £20 for the singular tool. Today you can actually buy this full set for the same price. So I'll just show you some screenshots of the Banggood page that they're on. And like I said, if you're new to engineering and you just bought a lathe and you're thinking about buying insert tooling, I would actually recommend um, using insert tooling before you do anything else on the lathe. It takes away the need for sharpening tools. And this set here, having the same insert, makes it a very economical set to use. So the set comes packaged in this excellent box here and then the um, individual packaging for each tool which also has a key for each tool and it comes with four inserts that you have to screw onto the tools and if you're new to insert tooling there's no need to actually over tighten these um, screws when you put the carbide um, insert on the tool it's just screw down and then just a slight nip up like i say there's no need to over tighten them and find that you can't get the screw out later also, when you're changing the insert or putting a new insert in, make sure you do it over a nice clean surface um, so that you don't actually lose the tiny screw. If you do lose a screw um, from one of these tools, you can actually buy separate screws on the Banggood side. So now I'm going to go through the various different tools in this set and I'm going to show beginners um, the types of cuts that each tool can make or the operations that they can do and I'm going to show that on the Myfred ML7 on a piece of aluminium but before I do that I'd just like to say that these are titanium coated inserts here again if you're new to insert tooling there's various different grades you can get I use these titanium inserts for a stainless steel and hard materials but you can actually get blue nano inserts which are even harder than these and excellent these are very low cost, these um, titanium coated ones now, and like I say, this set's really economical to use. So the first tool that I'm looking at here is the SD JCR 1010H07. Now the SD JCR, the R stands for right-handed. So if you hold a tool up and look at it this way, Whatever the way the um, insert is facing, it's the, um, the actual way the tool is, whether it's right or left hand. And this is the most common tool to use in the lathe, um, being just a straightforward turning tool. But I'll just show you a couple of operations now that that one can do. Right, I was going to put up a piece of solid aluminium, but I couldn't find any at the moment. So I've got this piece of brass. It's a brass component um, scrap one, so I can use this one as a demonstration piece. And I'm using the first turning tool, which is for facing off and turning. This is the most common one, like I say, that you'd actually use on a lathe if you're using this type of tool. So touch on the face and then face on. Then I can use the same tool for turning. And the noise you hear there is turning on the hexagon of that component. In 
can see there the lovely finish these tools produce. The same tool can be used for back turning, so I can plunge straight into the diameter and come back on myself there, or come back on the component. And that leaves an angle on the inner shoulder there. Like that. And now I can use the left-handed tool. Remember, it's holding them up that way to see which uh, orientation they are, so that's left-handed. And this one can be used for facing down the flange here, so to take that angle out that the last tool left. So that's a great tool for turning to the right side of the lathe, left-handed tool turning to the right side and producing certain width flanges or whatever. The next tool I mainly use for decorative grooves either on the diameter or on the face. Um, if you turn them around in the tool holder you can use them on um, this face here. But like I say, I use these for decorative grooves and marking out. And now turned around in the tool holder, it'll be the same centre height for doing decorative face grooves or marking out. And lastly we have the boring bar. Plus you can also use this tool for doing um, grooves or um, undercuts for threads. And that's just a quick demonstration on this piece of brass, the um, basic cuts that those tools can be used for. Right, so I think the tools are excellent quality, they produce brilliant finishes and it's a great set for the price. If you have a look on the Banggood listing at the moment, I think they're on special offer.